Well, you can find her in the old cotton building at UTEP, picking a jazzy tune to play over the radio or teaching a student how to set up a playlist for air. We've all heard her voice. Now, hear her story. Support for performance today comes the from voice the familiar located in Pepper Tree Square, take two. But the story behind it, probably not. On desperate ground is the story of KTEP's the operations director. The male name is Dennis Wu, okay. but my chosen name is Deidre Westenhauser. Is breaking free. But everyone around here calls me D, as in D E E. For 63 years, she played the part. Living that life is like being an actor on a stage. D recalls a conversation with her dad when she was just three years old. As a little girl, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in a little boy's body, and I hated the suits that my mom would put me in. She didn't quite did. like her name. So my dad said, All right, hot shot. What would you like your name to be? And I say, Deidre. I like Deidre. Fast forward to college life. D learning about the civil rights movement, and then a light went off. Finally, when I get to UTEP, I understand that civil rights didn't just mean class, and it didn't mean um, a certain structure of of um, ethnicity, but it it stretched this huge gamut. And I thought. That's what I need to tap into. A step toward embracing who she really is, but still years away from sharing her true self. When it came time to really getting to know someone, it was like standing on the other side of that wall and just peeking over and saying, you know, I want to tell you about everything that's going on over here, but I can't. But now she's out. North Korea in 1950. It was always a one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, I need to talk to you about something. And then we would talk. And I would, I would have to say, listen, I'm trans. And so your use of sir kind of really irritates me. So if you would, I know it's hard to get used to. Just call me D. This is cool. And she understands some people will want answers. It's OK to ask questions like, so how do you how do you want to be treated as a person? Well, we all want to be treated with respect. If anyone has a question about that, that's what it is. It's just about mutual respect. We're all on this planet together. D admits the pronouns can get a little confusing for some, but always the eager teacher. D invites you to come by the studio. You need this kind of a thing in order to be able to bounce that sound off of it. To learn all you can handle about music. This new book, On Desperate Ground. She's still the same person. The educator, the mentor, and the one. 88.5 FM, KTEP, El Paso. With that voice. I'm still the person you go out and have beers with or watch football with, or I'll to show you how to run the radio station. I'll, sh I'll do anything now, like I did then. It's just that my identity is now real. Well, we sure do thank you, Dee, for sharing your story. If you'd like to watch more of the interview, just log on to our website, ktsm.com.